Welcome back yet again to the world of survival horror. We are playing Leon B, the second scenario, the canon scenario to Resident Evil 2. I played Claire A already. Now we are going to experience the terrors, the horror, the thrill of Leon's scenario. So this is going to be the longer, harder variant. So let's begin scenario second. In the midst of the T-Virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Claire Redfield succeeded in escaping from the city, along with one of the only other survivors, a young girl named Sherry. However, behind their escape was the lone survivor of the Raccoon City Police Department. Leon S. Kennedy. we got here guys a maniac why'd he bite me What's up with that guy? That was a clean hit. Going on. I arrived in town and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. You better take it with you. Okay. 
Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Okay. At the same time, at the same place, you have to survive this nightmare to know the true end. All right, as it is described here, and as you saw in the cutscene, Leon is on the other side of the street where the truck crashed. That guy almost grabbed me. So we're entering the police station in an entirely different format here. No oh, zombies in this area. Okay, I think I need a key. So I have to dart straight over here into the security booth and grab the cabin key. So far so good, so far so good. Oh no, oh no nigga, no. No! Fuck! Get off me, asshole. Alright, off to a great start. I feel a little bloody, nauseous, tired, wounded, but I feel good right now. I believe there is bullets over here as usual. I don't need to save. What the fuck was that noise? Oh, hello darkness my old friend. Your guts hang out, we meet again. But I don't need to come back in here, so you lose. See, totally different way, and obviously, I only got bit once, but that might change because I sound a little bit cocky right now, and you, green pants wearing motherfucker, go back to the 80s, bitch. Okay, the zombie, the zombie bitch. Thought. No! Oh! Oh, I got bit twice. I kind of, karma got me there. Yo, fam, lay. They are having that hot foursome in hell right now. <laughs> I wonder, can the fire hurt you? I'm just gonna check. I'm, I'm pretty sure it can. Leon, you gotta be smarter, buddy. All right. Back through the same crow hallway as usual. Uh, same thing applies, but I'm going to try to grab these bullets real quick. Uh, I don't care, he's been backed. Give me that ammo, boy. Oh! Run, sir. There we go. You went out like a bitch. You went out like force, and I believe that is a liquor in that area, which is different. Randomly generated. Quite surprising. Compared to Claire Scenario A, where, you know, the liquors don't come... Well, I think they come in the hallway room, so they do show up really early in the game, but... I don't have a shotgun, so I'm gonna have to take the scenic route. You know, it's like I'm going in a hallway and I don't want my dick sucked in a negative way by a liquor. <laughs> I don't I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's just like the last playthrough. Oh Jesus Christ, this room. Alright, so there's 
there's a, a lot of them, but I see the valve handle, so I can clear the fire now. Hmm. Every day we shuffle in. Bust it. Bust it real hard. Bust it, bust it real hard. That guy's still over there. Except he's facing the other way, which I guess he's not going to be a bother. I'll still get you, bitch, no matter what. I'll still get you. Even though I can't turn the other way and crawl. I'm still waiting. Alright. You can wait forever. You go down. Oh, oh no. Manual reload. That can get you in a pinch because usually if the zombie is that close, he can grab you and treat you like his red-headed stepchild. And I don't want that. So, gonna put in these digits. You get the digis. Uh, I, I don't need shotgun shells right now, but I need a shotgun. Yes, I will mix the weed. That excellent green spliff. And I'll take that too. So I think there's bullets back here. No, an herb. Okay, that's quite surprising. I don't know what to expect now. Um, please don't be what I think it's going to be. Sweet fucking shit it is. Okay, I know you can juke that hallway, but I don't feel confident, so I'm going to go back the other direction. And hopefully the game will give me a break, but I doubt it. I can't get in that door. I cannot get in there. God damn it. Maybe I can take a risk in the liquor hallway. I might have to. Hmm. All right. First thing is first. Hello, burbs. Fuck you. Ah! Fuck you. Go back to Twitter, bitch. You bird piece of shit. <laughs> okay. So I think one of them got a critical on Leon, which is... There's no health difference in Resident Evil 2 when playing as a male or female. So it's not like Resident Evil 1 where Jill could take less damage I believe and die easier and Chris he's like a tank he could take more damage so there's no health parameters everyone seems the same but actually you know I wouldn't have minded that in this game at all like I think that would have added more strategy but Leon obviously would have been a tank Oh, more shotgun bullets. All right. So, nothing special here. Except for this. He's big, he's bald, he's gray, and he is not African-American. All right. Uh. Shit. Blocked off. No escape. Uh. Yeah, this is Mr. X, and he is very pissed. I think I put myself in a bad spot here, too. I have no shotgun. Fire at will! You big bitch! Oh no! Ooh. Ah! 
that move that he did it can kill you if you are close to him so be on the lookout for that he kind of hurt me let me get a clear line of sight Fuck. You flinching? You flinching, motherfucker? Uh. Oh, this is the end of the room. I got him. Yes, get on your knees and give me those handgun bullets. Well, kind of underwhelming, but I'll take it, I guess. Oh, hey, he's not dead. What a surprise, right? Ugh. Oh, wait, 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 no! Now that I have to deal with dogs and liquors, so... Hello there, let me explain the passion of jump cutting. Because when people make noise in my house, I don't just want to strangle them and treat them like Cerberus dogs from Resident Evil 1. Of course, Cerberus dogs are in this game, so I can't complain too much, but I did take an herb. I went ahead and backtracked just a little bit off camera. Hopefully that's not too much of an inconvenience. Either way, this game is different in aspects and similar to Resident Evil 1 because now we still have the small key system so Leon has to open certain crates and certain lockers, certain doors with small keys as a catch 22 I guess because it's not perfect Leon has the lighter so he can have access to more areas he doesn't have to worry about getting the lighter or anything like that as opposed to Claire where she has to find it. Either way, I'll drop the shotgun shells for now. And the small key. Chris has small keys too and I believe Jill had the lockpick so she can access certain areas rather quickly. Ah, oh, so we are back into the foyer. And we have a couple of zombies roaming around, but first I'm going to dispense the emergency ladder here. Because I need to get my Booyaka shotgun. Time to go to Boomtown, people. It is time to go to boom the fuck out of Zombies City. There she is. She's so fine. I got my Mossberg and she's fine like wine. I don't think I need to use the computer now because every door is fucking locked. No more locked doors. Gracias. So we go back up the emergency ladder, and I believe on the far side, the far left, there is a slew of dots. Dirty, filthy whores. No. You can- no, no, no. No, no zombie. You cannot call me on my cell phone. Not at all, not ever. Get your ass slumped. Slumped? Oh shit. It's an orgy over here. Tangerine dream. Get the fuck down, baby. Oh, ah, they still coming. Manual reload. No. I hate when it does that because they can grab you easily if you're not careful. 
Uh, no, you're not dead. Stop playing possum. Here we have it, the unicorn medal. We're gonna... No, take the medal, Leon. Are you high? There we go. Unicorn medal. We're gonna use it on the statue downstairs. Second verse, same as the first. Alright. Back down to Shantytown. Uh, I, I don't know what item you get here because honestly, I get lost after this. I'm not gonna lie. It's a key, but what key? Spade? Spade or diamond? Oh, okay, spade. Alright. I'm still lost. <laughs> I'm still lost because uh, I think the spade key is like somewhere on the other side. Maybe. I'm not sure. Alright. Mm. Oh shit, well either way, I have to deal with problems and chaos right now because we are back in the liquor hallway. Right? Oh man. I'm back in the land of nasty bubblegum freaks. Oh no, whore. No, you don't. No! Ugh. You will never line me up. Ever. Oh shit, well. Ugh. About to die again. Oh. I got extremely lucky because he was about to do that leaping attack. And uh, I'm pretty sure you guys saw in the last part. The leaping attack from the liquors, it causes a lot of damage. Uh, I didn't need that ink ribbon. I guess I'll take it, maybe. There's something in here though. Uh, yes, we know about the statues, but we don't have the gems right now. But there's a blue car key, just what I need. Just exactly what I needed. Exactly. That's what I don't need, actually. <laughs> what a story, Mark. What a what a riveting story. I'm sure you have to put out more bad movies with the Green Goblin or in this instance the Hobgoblin because Harry Osborne, eh? Hey, hey? James Franco, disaster artist, hello keep up with the times I'm just kidding but uh despite peeing a little there seeing that liquor we can finally progress forward downstairs with the blue car key which opens up the doors so maybe we will see Will Smith and bright in action all right I think I'm good to go Whew, man. Last interruption of today because, like I said, I get a lot of background noise in the morning. Sorry if I'm complaining about it a lot, but I really hate it that I have to pause each time and there's another junk cut. But I think it's time to see Will Smith. Uh, let's unlock the doors and then we'll cut this part. So maybe I'll come back and save. Uh, actually, I'll save now. Why not? Here we go. No, actually, I think I'll continue in the next part because I think 25 minutes. That's good enough. I will access the computer, download some Pornhub at 30 kilobits a second. Yes, use the card key and we have unlocked most of the doors. 
I know on the far side that screams trouble because I think there is a mass cavalcade of zombies, but we'll deal with it in the next part. I will see you guys next time. Later.